Hi everyone, my name's Nick. I go by Fatal Glory on Reddit and Discord. Uh, this is my submission for the Nano Build Off competition. It's called Nano Fusion. Uh, Nano Fusion is a project to do privacy on the Nano network by mixing funds together into a single account and then sending them out to a bunch of unrelated accounts, those that went in, but doing that in a way that's trustless. So no one person controls the central account that all the funds go into. And we do that trustlessness by using joint accounts. And so the joint account portion of NanoFusion is finished. Uh, the full privacy mechanism isn't quite built yet, didn't quite get there in time. But the fundamental technology is there uh, in joint accounts. And joint accounts is what we're going to have a look at right now. Uh, so to do joint accounts, you basically have to have two people with separate private keys. And together, they form a joint public key. And that public key can only send or receive blocks if both of the separate private keys contribute to the signature. Uh, so they don't have to share their private keys with each other but together they can sign blocks for this address. So let's see how that works. So we've got two web browsers here open to NanoFusion. We create a session, join, use that same session ID over here in Chromium, and join there as well. Now you can see there's a few features planned, uh, churning funds to uh, obscure you from KYC on an exchange, the mix session, which is what we're ultimately trying to build, but those things are built on top of joint accounts. And so that's what we're gonna demo right now. So we'll go to joint account, I've got some demo data to load up here for speed. Load up demo seed and address one on this side. Uh, we can tell our peer, hey, we're ready. They'll get invited to join the session. And they have demo data two. Different seed, different address. Now, this person you can see has uh, this joint address. This is correct because they have access to both public keys. They've got their own key. And when we invited them, we sent our public key from here. But this address is different. We haven't sent a public key from Chromium to Firefox yet. Uh, they're just communicating over WebSocket. Uh, so we're gonna send our public key over there. And you can see now these two addresses are in sync. So with two contributors, we've got this shared joint address. And you can have three or four or however many you need. Uh, but now we have this two person shared joint address. Uh, now let's scan the joint account just to see what the balance is and so on. That should go down to the network. There we go. Current balance is zero nano and no pending blocks. So we should change that. So we'll bring up NanoVault and we're gonna send some funds to this joint address. Uh, let's send it say three nano. So we're gonna send some nano to our joint account. And now again, we scan. That'll send requests out to the network and you can see there's, okay, there's a pending block there, three nano coming from my address. So I'm gonna tell my peer, hey, I wanna receive those blocks. The peer will get a message saying, hey, there's transactions waiting for approval. Yes, I do wanna approve that. I do wanna receive those funds. These two now talk to each other. They create a receive block for those funds that they jointly sign, publish to the network, and then it should get refreshed over here when it's finally done. There we go, current balance, three nano, no pending blocks. And if I scan over here, you'll see that the same thing comes up as well. Current balance, three. Now, I mean, I want to hold on to those funds. I want to be able to send them from my joint account as well, which is what we'll do now. So I'll get NanoVault back up, get my account address here. That's the address I want to send funds to, and I want to send two of those three nano back to myself. Let's say two and a half. I will send two and a half back. I hit send, and my peer again gets, hey, there's a transaction waiting for approval. Yeah, I want to approve that. Again, they talk to each other. Transaction goes to the nano network. And when it's done, current balance here will get updated down to 0.5 for nano. Waiting, 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 there we go, 0.5 nano. And same thing here, we'll scan the joint account and we'll get our 0.5. There we go, so that's sending and receiving blocks from a joint account uh, using nano fusion. Uh, so like I said, this is, this is alpha software, it clearly works, but it's still a bit rough around the edges. Uh, it's mostly implementing an aggregate signature algorithm uh, taken from Kazen Networks, but it's been altered to use the Blake hashing algorithm instead of SHA-512. Uh, that's what makes it work with Nano. And yeah, because of that, we can have M of N joint signatures, and we can have these kind of joint accounts. Uh, now, to show you how this joint account system can be used to give us really good privacy features on Nano, we're going to go to the whiteboard. 